So one of the more challenging things to do, and it probably shouldn't be, but it is as of now, is to get this communication control wire slash power wire from the inside unit here to the outside unit and threading it through the inside unit. But what you do, kind of wrap the wires around each other so they feed through easier. And then they're gonna go through this hole right here. And so stick it in as far as you can. And by the way, notice I put this on cardboard. Make sure the inside unit's face is put on cardboard or something that will prevent it from scratching on the ground because uh, you're going to see those scratches on the inside unit forever if you don't follow that advice. So thread these wires in as far as they'll go. And then turn everything over. Grab the face plate right here. There's a couple little notches. Pull that up. Take the screw, loosen it, and this is where the control slash power wires are going to feed through. It's a little tab here to pull up, make it easy. All these have to be unscrewed. We already did that. And then this right here is where the control wire will get through and see it, it's kind of coming through so we got it there so you need a little bit of slack but not too much okay so this ground this the only one that has a loop here is the ground screw and it's the one that is seemingly yellow and green. So this is a little tricky, especially if you don't have a magnetic screwdriver. You've got the 88 cents Lowe's screwdriver, which we have here. But Okay, so for all these, the wire fits underneath the washer, so there's a little washer here. And this ground screw is the trickiest one. So that's done now. And then you have a, a brown, a black, and a blue wire here. So if that was to be in alphabetical order, it doesn't matter, just you see there's one, one, two, three. Just make sure that whatever colors you use on the inside unit are the same as the ones used on the outside unit. So, um, so black would go first according to alphabetics, I think. So we're gonna, this is gonna take a couple minutes too. So I'm gonna pull all these shields a little bit away from the connector to get better access to connect these three. So yes, actually the alphabetical order, if we're going to do the same to try and remember inside and outside is black, blue, brown. Okay, so black, blue, we're finishing up the brown one. It fits underneath the screw, push it in hard. Screw it in and then kind of Bring all these wires together a little bit because they're going to go underneath this holder, harness, sheath, whatever you want to call it. And that fits underneath here. And then there's a screw to hold that down. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. And so actually, Todd corrected me, I had it in the wrong hole, that's what she said. But you use this, this hole right here, which is more recessed than, th than this one. This is the one for the cover plate. Okay, so put it down there. Okay, that's done. 
And so we're good there. And so then just thread this back in. This one's an easy one. And then push this down. 